morning. I have the worst cold today, as you can no doubt hear from my voice. And I thought, shall I cancel my video shoot? I mean, I could, couldn't I? After all, I am my own boss and I'm the purveyor of my own destiny. But it's a big fat no for me. Did you hear that sniff? There? That's awful, isn't it? Um, because the entrepreneurial journey is about self-discipline. And so many entrepreneurs I know just aren't disciplined enough about their time. They fanny about Facebooking, spending hours in the gym, chatting inanely to their mates, and they don't value their work time sufficiently. They don't value the time of others either. They're flaky. They don't do what they say they're going to and will generally run their lives and their businesses in a frankly less than professional manner. And I don't want to be like those people. You can make money or you can make excuses and there's no middle ground to be frank. You can make progress or you can sit still. And I ain't got time for sitting still. You have to think of the impact of every action that you partake in on a daily basis. We all get ill, we all have setbacks. I don't even want to tell you what happened here at Diamond HQ yesterday, but that is business. It's about sticking to the plan as much as possible, regardless of what has happened. So bugger duvet days, bugger wasting time on Facebook, and bugger letting the rest of the world stop me from pursuing my plan. It just won't happen. So, Kate, you may say that's all very well, but what happens if I'm really ill or if life throws a curveball or the day conspires so that I don't achieve what I need to achieve? Well, I have to make the time up. It's not exactly rocket science now, isn't it? I have no magic pool of resources either to throw at my tasks. It's just because I decide I can't face my business today because I've got a cold. I just have to make the time up another day and in another way. So, you know, for example, my alarm goes off early on a Monday morning and I'm dripping with cold. Do I hit, sleep and roll over thinking it can wait until tomorrow? Not a flipping chance. So much of what we achieved is down to our attitude to it all. Um, I may well have a less than productive productive day in the office to be frank today. It won't function at 100% but I will continue to make some progress rather than sitting still because a whole day off just isn't work it, worth it even. I've not always been this way. I've always been happy to be sensible and take the day off and snuggle up and catch up on watching Breaking Bad for a day whilst I allow this workload to accrue in the background. But that was a lifetime ago. A lifetime was a, when I was a struggling business owner and I'm a more successful entrepreneur now. And I'm going to let you into a little bit of a secret. I wasn't that well last year and I made up every day I had in hospital because I'm so focused on the goal that a day miss was a slip in traction and that momentum was super important if I was going to achieve my goals, not just this year but the year after. But it's amazing how infrequently you get ill, what preventative measures you take and how determined you are to get over illnesses quickly when you're 100% focused on achieving your dreams. So I could have stayed in bed today, I could have cancelled this video and I could have done this another day. But then I'd just be like everyone else, dreaming of that lifestyle that will never happen because I'm not going to make it happen. You know, I eat well, prevent illness, be well when you can and if you can't, you need to toughen up. A cold won't kill you, but time off work might kill your dream. Pretty controversial, I bet, but you will find most successful entrepreneurs have surprisingly little time off sick. Maybe it's mental attitude. <laughs> maybe it's looking after themselves beforehand so that they don't get sick, or maybe it's sheer bloody mindedness. But either way, time off the job is lost momentum. Now we can't be having that now, can we? Enough said, I, I'm off to find a lemset. And of course, get back to work. See you later.